Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am organizing my office closet finally. When we moved into this house, we moved in so fast and my office became the catch-all for everything. And so I need to organize the space. Come along with me. So right now, this is the current state of my office. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. But this is what I am tackling today. This is my office closet and it literally just has stuff everywhere. This shelving unit right here is actually not a built-in, it looks like it. But what I'm going to do, I put it here just because I thought that I was going to have like an armoire or something in here. But I've decided that's not gonna be what's gonna happen. So I'm going to take this shelving unit out and either put it on the ground here or stand it up right here. This over here is all of my wrapping paper supplies. So I think at present, that's probably the only thing that's going to stay. This is actually one of those suit bags. I don't know what you call these things, but I keep all of my wrapping paper and supplies and things like that in here. And that's just kind of what I've always done. So that makes it super convenient and easy, but I'm just going to get all of this organized. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to pull most of this out of here and then just kind of see the type of space that I have left and then go from there. Is it a small project? No, it's not a small project. <laughs> rather large project, uh, but it's something that is absolutely necessary or else I won't be able to work in this room. the floor <laughs> and my husband helped me take this shelving unit out of here and put it here so now I have a whole shelf here I have all of this plus the top of that and the floor and up top here as well so it just makes it a little bit easier so like I said before wrapping stuff I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it right there in that corner I think it's gonna be the easiest spot for it to go and then um, more out of the way, things I don't need very often in this part. It's kind of silly because of how much, almost like wasted space back here, but um, we'll figure that out. And yeah, okay. So now I'm going to take my bins that I have from the Dollar Tree. I have a bajillion of them and I also have some gray canvas containers too that I can also use that came with this shelving unit here. This looks like Ikea. It's not Ikea, um, but it's a very similar idea to their, what do they call it? Like Kallax maybe? Something like that. I'm gonna see how I can make this closet super functional and absorb basically all of the things here. One thing about my organizing style, just how my brain functions, I don't love shoe boxes like this that are closed up and I can't see what's in them. So I either need to label or I need to just have the tops off like this so I can see everything that's in there. I, I'd love to be one of those people to where if I put something just like out of the way and it just stays nice and organized, but it makes it harder for me to put things away when I can't see what's in my containers. So probably gonna do away with these lids. That tends to be much more organized and functional for me than this. Just came in the closet and I also remembered that I have these wire drawers. I used to keep these in my pantry at my old house so I can use those. And then I have all these fabric bins here too that I also can use. Apparently back in the day, I really liked gray and teal. <laughs> It's so much gray and teal, but all right, it's coming together. So I've got plenty of storage baskets here along the top, along this side. I've got my drawers, a basket there, and I need to figure out something to happen here. Three hours later.
it's the next day. So most of this stuff at this point is actually not gonna be going in this closet. This is kind of the leftover stuff that has to go to a different room or I have my music stuff or this is gonna go to a different closet or whatever. Um, but this is all happening. So organized chaos is what I like to call this. At least I know where everything is. Standing back, here is what I have. Now, I know where everything is, which is helpful. Is it the most attractive closet? No, but is it Dollar Tree? Absolutely. Does it does it work for me? Yes, it does. So starting up here at the top, I have my ring light, and then I have just a couple other boxes of random things. I gotta figure out what to do with that kind of stuff up there, but it's fine. Then I have more camera equipment on the right-hand side. I've got some extra copy paper, printer paper, that kind of thing. I have my Atlanta laminator and some shipping supplies like a scale and some bubble mailers. I oftentimes will send welcome packages when people purchase essential oils or I'll send samples and that kind of thing. So this is kind of my shipping stuffing type of section. So then over here I have a whole bunch of books and I have a starter box. This starter box is actually 15% off for new customers. So if you've never tried essential oils and you wanted to get a starter box, they're 15 percent off through the end of January, which is a really good deal. Also have a bunch of cards and just the random office supplies and stamps and things like that here. More cards there. Note cards. I, I don't know what to do with these. This shelf is kind of the random shelf. So I've got some post-it notes in this bin. I've got a bunch of note cards. I have no idea what to do with note cards. So if you do things with note cards, let me know what you do with them in the comments below. And then I also have a three hole punch. I have some more books down here and some coloring books and pencils. And I also have some labeling supplies down there in that bottom left bin and then some painting supplies here because I do paint. And that's another little part of my hobby life that I have. And then down here, I have just some random um, notebooks. I didn't know where to put those, so I just have those there. And then this black hanging thing here is where I keep all of my wrapping paper. It's just a, they call it a garment bag, I guess, but I have all of my wrapping paper hung up in there just to have for easy access. But here we go. It's a functional space. I know where everything is now. And then when I don't want to look at it, I just close the doors and then it's all, it's all still there. I just, I just don't have to see it. One other little piece of information here. I apologize because you're probably hearing the fan for our wood stove. Um, this is my desk that goes in my office. And so that's why I didn't show you the rest of the office because it's not Put together it's just an empty room with a rug and a lamp on the floor and a printer so i have this is my desk i need to get a tv stand for out here once i have that then this desk is going to go back in that office and it'll be a little bit more of a functional space but for right now the desk is being used as a TV stand. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a new video. Don't forget, if you are new to essential oils, you get 15% off of your first purchase through the end of January. I will link all of the information in the description bar below. Happy organizing. See you in the next one. Ciao.